Good afternoon to all of us. I'm very glad to be in front of you. I'm so excited that uh, we have also met our target and the promise, at least since we got the invitation. A question went on Shadow Idol. Was that the question? What does it mean? Shadow Idol, it is Shadow Idol Youth Club under the organization St. Francis Healthy Care Services founded in Jeru, Mbiko, Buyibwe District, serving people who are HIV positive plus the young people who are orphans. I've had the question here. Does the government help orphans? Ah, the government help orphans. Somehow I think it does, but for us we are directly concerned with them also. Meaning we give a hand to the government to take care of those vulnerable and suffering young people. Alright? To mention it very clearly, the people you have seen on stage here, under Shadow Idol, if they can stand up, please, I humbly request you to stand up. Those under Shadow Idol. Okay? Just look at them very well and attentively and with a keen eye. If you ask them, I think they are like a two or three that have parents. Yes, those ones stand. They are taken care of St. Francis Health Care Services under that name we have had, Shadow Idol Youth Club. This is a group of young people that come every Saturday at St. Francis to be mentored, to be educated, and to be inspired as you have heard them. They are, when we invite them every Saturday, you can see, thank you. When we invite them every Saturday, we want them to be open to other exposures. That's why you have heard in their testimonies. Some people have come out to speak very well. I think you have witnessed that. So we are grateful for that. That is Shadow Idol Youth Club. The word shadow. The word shadow. In Uganda, it's called a secretism. If somebody is walking, there is something like he's looking at behind. So we took that name. An idol is something like, is something to be adored, okay? If you can adore some picture there, so we say, there is an idol that can be portrayed or can be seen further to follow. For example, we have Mr. Richard here. He's children. There are many other people who wish to be like him. So is an idol to them. So for us we say shadow idol for the young people. That is the name. Another question, which was so good. Eh? If a lady is HIV positive and a, a husband is HIV negative, can the husband acquire HIV? Moreover, they are in intimacy. That was the question, if I had it very well. So, you'll help me clarify this relatively, if you don't mind, because it is very crucial and very important. Yeah, whoever is trying to talk, at least give me a platform for one second. I want to clarify that question. Why? I work in an HIV setting, I'm a counselor by profession, I'm an adherence office at St. Francis, and I do train still in HIV, so it is good that we clarify on that. A lady is HIV positive, a man is HIV negative. Is it possible for a man to get HIV? One answer, yes. Second one, it's 
possible not with these footnotes? Eh? We have preventive measures which must be employed by the two partners or the couple, that is a lady who is HIV positive and a negative husband. If they employ, for example, proper and accurate usage of a condom, there are chances that for the rest of their life, the husband will remain negative. You quote me very well. Proper and accurate usage of a condom. Is that okay? Then the other part, the usage of abstinence. Yeah, if you discover your wife is positive, the other one negative, you can surrender. Uh -huh. I feel I like that. Okay? That is very good. But because of time, allow me, allow me stop there for further inquiries. I am Chiberu John Resisto. I work with St. Francis, Health and Care Services, a child mentor for the Shadow Idol youth members, as well as an employee there. <coughs> I'll be glad if I get consultation. Thank you so much.